Hello guys, this is Mia from the Sibyl's Tarot. Welcome one more day to 31 Days of Tarot by Ethany. And today is day 7 and the prompt is what are your most worked with decks of 2018 and why. So I am going to show you the decks that I have used the most during, during the year for different reasons. And my first is the Crystal Visions Tarot and I began the year really strong on this deck. It is a deck that I work with very easily. In fact, it is a bit battered, as you can see, but I use it a lot. It's all dirty around the corners and stuff because, well, because it has wide borders and because I have used it a lot. And uh, this is a deck that I just read very easily. Why? Because with because I love the imagery, and uh, as you can see, it is uh, pretty and. Uh, it is, it is a bit of a whimsical deck when it comes to the imagery, but it is not fluffy, or at least not to me. And uh, I can relate really well to the imagery in the deck. I think the essence of each card is uh, very well represented during the deck, you know, in the different cards that you can see in here. At as well, I think it pretty much respects traditional Rider Wild Smith imagery, and this makes it a deck that I find very easy to work with. Besides, I I need a deck to be appealing to my eye in order to oh this one already uh, as well goes really well with the background and. Uh, I need a, a deck to be beautiful or appealing to me on an aesthetic level in order to really get the most out of it. So this is probably why I can work so well with this deck because it is easy and uh, just pretty much, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but the imagery speaks for itself and as well. Uh, Mix with a uh, good base knowledge of tarot, it just works well for me. And uh, well, this has been one of the decks that I have used the most for these reasons. And then there is Bad Bitches Tarot, which has been and well, it's one of my go to decks and has been uh, strong for this year. And I have used it non stop for quite a few months. And, uh, well, uh, the thing that I like about this deck is that since the imagery is so simple and uh, this deck, or at least to me, is not heavy on symbolism. It has these little things, and for instance, you know, like the clothes, and in here the astrological symbol and stuff, but it is not the sort of deck which imagery just uh, calls to you or you can see the symbols at first sight and the thing that I or that makes this deck work for me is that when I read with this deck I am using like all the stored information in my in my mind you know regarding tarot and uh, as uh, for instance uh, as Christiana Godet would say uh, in her book Fortune Stella, I am reading with the tarot deck in my mind when I use this these cards because the imagery is not very expressive or eloquent, but yet I think that this deck allows me to access all of that knowledge stored in my mind and since the images are not very chatty to me, it somehow helps me tune into my intuition, so to speak, and uh, this is one of the reasons why I work so well with this with this deck, Bad Beach Tarot. And uh, then I have spoken about it already quite a few times this year. Luna Soul Tarot has been my go-to deck ever since I got it, like in September, I have used this deck Every single day I have been working with it, reading for clients with it. It is already a bit battered, as you can say, as you, as you can see. And uh, this is a deck that works really good for me, just for the same reasons that Crystal Visions Tarot does. Because I can connect with imagery, I can relate this imagery to the system. I know 
and as well it is appealing to the eye so it is so uh, it is as well very easy to identify the cards at first sight and this is something that is important to me because when I am reading for a client I just want to know which card is which and um, it happens or it is it is easier for me when it is a deck that allows me to recognize the imagery even without reading the title. So for instance, I can say that this is a seven of pentacles even without reading this or you know, Will of Fortune. Or it's not exactly like the Rider White Smith imagery, but this is a two of pentacles. I mean the sort of images that are not difficult to identify at first glance. And this is the reason why this is one of my go-to decks. And I have Under the Roses Lenormand, which is, as you can see, pretty much well loved. I did edge the cards because it was a bit falling apart and edging them in black allowed me to kind of give it a new vibe but it's pretty much used and uh, this is a deck that I use for my Roman readings basically every time I have one. I love the imagery, it is easy to, or what the cards are easy to identify in a big spread and this is the Roman deck that I basically use because I find it so very easy and I have used it so much then I just know the deck, so this is the reason why I use it a lot and that makes it my go-to Lenormand deck. And uh, this has been it, basically, so thank you very much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with day 8. Bye!